All right, so I showed you how to do a simple frequency table and histogram using PSPP, which will also work with SPSS. Now I'm going to show you the trick that you need to do in order to do a grouped frequency table. You're going to use the transform feature. And I will tell you as somebody who has worked in data analysis and report writing as a job, this is a, a function of the software that I use all the time. Knowing this is very, very handy. So you're going to click over here on transform and you're going to go down here to recode into different variables. So when you first open this screen, it's going to look like this. The variable I'm wanting to record is score. The new name, whoops, there we go. The new name that I'm going to give this variable is going to be group score. Okay. And then you can label that whatever you might like it. We haven't really talked about labels yet, but group score. Now I'm going to click on old and new values. Let's say that I wanted to do this in groups of 10. What I'm doing is I am telling it for the old value of score. So zero through nine. I want the new value to be zero. For the old value of 10 through 19, I want the new value to be one. 20 to 29, I want it to be two. And we're just gonna keep going for all these, okay? 30 to 39 is three. 40, and you don't have to do it in groups of 10. Maybe you wanted to know everyone who had scored below a 50%. You could have done zero through 50. 50 through 59 is five. So you can see how they're adding up down here. 60 through 69 is six. 70, whoops, 70 through 79 is seven. See, they're still going. 80 through 89 is eight. 90 through 99 is nine. So I'm going to have all my scores down here. Now I could say if, if um, there was a value that had been missing, I could give it a special number that if it was missing, I want it to be this. For now, let's, let's keep it simple. Okay. And we're going to click continue and we're going to say change. We want, we always want to change it. So the old value score, the new values group score, and you're going to click. Okay. So what you'll see is, you now have a second column of group score ranging from one to nine. Now what we can do with this, we come over here to variable view we can do value labels so we can double click right here under value label and we can say a value of zero is zero to nine a value of one is 10 to 19 a value of two is 20 to 29 and you could go through and do this for every single one three is 30 to 39 and let's click OK. I accidentally clicked OK instead of next, but now I, I made labels. OK, now I want you to see what this does whenever we do our. Our frequency table now. <clears throat> click OK. Whoops, that was score again. Wait. Descriptive statistics frequencies. Now we're not doing score. Now we're doing group score. OK, we're going to click OK. Now what you'll see on our output is that come down here. All right. So now our mean is five. Our standard deviation is 2.56. That's not what we're worried about. This is showing you, I didn't finish labeling them. That's why it looks like this, but now you see it in the groups. And now, and you can see the ones that you labeled, it actually shows your label instead of the number. So I'm going to show you how to do something very similar if you're working with nominal data.